So what I have on the screen here is um, an image that uh, was obtained with the Vectra M3 face and neck uh, imaging device. And the software that, it's, that we use is called Face Sculptor. So we can simulate um, the changes that we might make with a rhinoplasty procedure, a chin augmentation procedure, uh, contouring, cheek contouring, uh, where we might add some volume, uh, lower facial contouring where we might remove some volume, uh, etc. So let's do the rhinoplasty first. And so using these uh, boxes over here, we can simulate different things. So over here, this is what's called dorsal height. So she's got a little bit of fullness here. We can simulate uh, bringing that in, lowering the dorsum a little bit. Sometimes we have to do a little bit of supplementation freehand like so. Doesn't need a lot of change here. Um, and you know, her, her chin is fine. We could simulate bringing her neck in a little bit with some neck contouring. Uh, we can then look at the front view. A um, little shadowing here, um, maybe a little bit wide in the tip so we can na simulate narrowing the tip. Do a little bit of freehand work. And the great thing about this is it's all reversible. We haven't actually done any cutting yet. What we're trying to do is just to get uh, a, an idea whether you know, the vision that you know, the surgeon may have for improving the appearance of the nose meshes with what the patient's you know, uh, goals and desires may be. Holcomb Kratham Plastic Surgery and Med Spa.